For this mini lesson, we're going to cover optimizing an image and working with levels on a photograph. And you're also going to need to download the file called deathvalley.jpg, which is this image here. So when we work with levels, there's a couple of ways to do this. One is in a destructive way, and the other is in a non-destructive way. So I'm going to show you the wrong way first. So sometimes people will go to image, adjust levels, and when I click that, it brings up the histogram of what we want to do with our picture. So what this histogram is and does is it represents the color that we see over here. So one side are, are the dark side and the other is the light. So what we're really talking about is contrast. And our goal is to make the darks darker and the, the highlights lighter. And the reason for that, again, is contrast. So uh, we don't want to have our image flatlined where, like we see it here. But again, I approach this the wrong way by going to image adjust levels. What we want to do is we always want to work through our layers palette. There's a few reasons for that, but the most important is that you're non-destructively editing your photo. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to this little icon, and this is how you always should do this. We're going to hover over it, and it says that it's called a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to click it. And that same levels can be found here. There's other things that we can edit with our photograph, such as the exposure or contrast in general or the saturation of color or things like that. So we want to select levels. We see that there's an adjustment layer here now. Again, when we edit, we can simply turn it off and it will non-destructively edit our image. So that's, again, the importance of doing it through using an adjustment layer. So to properly do this, what we want to do is first we see RGB. So this is red, green, and blue color channels all together. I'm going to do something really quickly here because I'm going to show us a side-by-side -side when we're done. Okay, back to where I was at. So if I simply take and go like this, it's moving red, green, and blue channels all at once, and we notice our picture got darker. I grabbed this side and made the highlights lighter. And so we have really nice contrast. And I can see if I turn this on or off, here's what it looked like before, and here's what it looked like after. So we have a lot better contrast. The colors show up a lot better. So it's important to always adjust our levels. However, that's not how we want to address this. We want to do one color channel at a time. So I'm going to click the drop down, go to red. I'm going to bring this in right to where the information starts. This side, I'm going to bring it in. and I'm not going to touch the middle slider. We don't need to mess with this one right now. And we also need to do a reality check when this is all said and done. Did we go too far? Did we bring them in too far? So that's red. We're going to do green. Drag this in right to where the information starts to come up. And our highlights. And the blue channel. I'm going to drag this where it starts to come up. And drag this where it starts to come up. And again, I just move this off to the side, we can turn on and off <clears throat> and see what it looks like. So here it is before, and here it is after. And after, the colors are just so much more brilliant than before. Before, now it looks really muddy. It looks really, really flat. And after, it looks really nice. So again, if we, if we drag these things too far, um, it, can, it can look pretty crazy. So we want to just do them uh, enough. Maybe I even pull them out just a little bit more. But what we're doing is we're really working with the contrast and our highlights and our shadows and trying to make it look like what it looked like the day that we shot it, and sometimes, uh, if not, a little bit more. So there's that image, um, and you can definitely see a big difference in that. So anytime you shoot, anytime you're going to use something in a publication or a book or for print or online, always go and adjust your levels.